What's up guys, it is Carly here bringing you day 13 of my 31 days of horror and today I'm going to be talking about an interesting one and that is Evils of the Night from the year 1985. Um, once again, I picked this one up uh, for the 85 show that I'm doing with 22 shots and honestly guys, I'm pre-recording these videos so I'm not sure if the show will be done before um, this video even gets uploaded so in that case it won't make much sense but just so you know, these videos are pre-recorded. Um, I think I've mentioned that before in previous videos but anyway, Evils of the Night. Um, this movie revolves around a group of um, teenagers who are on summer break and they're camping out uh, in this wooded area that's kind of near um, the beach or I think it's actually more like a lake. Um, so they're camping out and uh, of course they're just having a fun time. Meanwhile you have this um, group of I guess you could say like aliens um, but they're they're people but um, they're like from an alien planet but uh, you know they're normal people they don't look like alien creatures or anything like that they just look like basic human beings and um, they are at this hospital and they begin kidnapping these teenagers in the middle of the night because they need their blood to essentially live off of and they're trying to get as many as possible they need like a certain age range and these kids of course happen to fit that age range and um, they need to get this all done before they get sent back to their planet so they're kidnapping them one by one and of course the teenagers uh, catch on and they're trying to escape. So, you know, based on the cover, um, I thought I wasn't going to care for this one. I was thinking it was going to be like another um, space or alien type of movie where it's, um, you know, all takes place in space. But in reality, this movie is kind of almost plays out like a slasher. You know, you got this group of um, horny teenagers. Um, they're all running around having sex and doing dumb stuff and just talking about uh, dumb things and then they're all kind of disappearing um, one by one in a way and um, there is uh, you know killing of these kids by a person so uh, it definitely plays out more like a slasher than anything um, it is you know it's just kind of a sci-fi slasher that's why I would describe this as um, the group of people at this hospital are uh, interesting um, Title says it's alien vampires, um, which I guess that does make sense because they need their blood to live off of. I didn't really think of it that way, but um, yeah, like I said, they're just normal people. They kind of sometimes talk a difference and they seem a little bit robotic, but other than that, uh, they are uh, human beings, which I like that about it too. It's not overly fantasy or anything like that. The acting in this movie, I will say, is pretty atrocious, especially by uh, two girls and one boy main they're like the main central group that you're following in this movie and then you also have this other couple that are engaged and plan to get married i feel like that couple wasn't that bad at acting but then this group of three people was pretty bad at acting and i think uh some of it is definitely intentional it's supposed to be a little bit over the top and with 80s uh slashers and just 80s horror films um as a whole i feel like um or just 80s movies as a whole when you really think about it. I feel like some of the acting is a little bit over the top and um, done for just entertainment and comedy sake and uh, you know this movie just kind of does it a little bit more over the top than other films in my opinion and I do think it's also a mix of these people just being bad actresses and actors so um, there are a few cringy moments in this movie. There are for a few moments where um, the characters, it just seems like they're dumb and they have the chance to escape but they kind of fail to. Like you get a few scenes where you get the teenagers kind of running through the woods trying to get away from the people kidnapping them and they keep stopping and just looking around and they stop for such a long time or they run for a little bit and act like they're out of breath and then of course the um, killer or kidnappers uh, catch up to them. Just stupid stuff like that. And then you also get scenes where um, they're tied up and they don't seem like they're tied that um, intricately to where they would never be able to escape and it just seems like they're not even really trying to escape so um, there is that. Um, but overall I was really surprised by this movie. I was really happy with it by how entertained I was by it. Is it a great movie? I would say no. Um, it's definitely kind of goofy and like I said the acting is pretty bad and um, just some of the decisions made throughout the movie are flat out stupid but I definitely recommend this to people. Um, it's an 85 movie I'd never seen before and I am glad to have gotten to check it out because I probably wouldn't have checked it out on my own honestly just for the cover and the title alone thinking it was something that I wouldn't be interested in and um, it turned out to be the exact 
opposite of that. Uh, it's definitely a movie that I enjoy and these are the type of films that I do seek out and I am happy to see and be surprised by. So I give this film a 6 out of 10. That's not the highest rating in the world but I feel like that's kind of what it deserves. It's more um, just something for entertainment value uh, and nothing else. It's not a spectacular film but uh, it is pretty good. It's definitely above average in my opinion. So 6 out of 10 for Evils of the Night from the year 1985. Thank you guys once again for joining me for this episode of 31 Days of Horror. And as always, I will see you tomorrow.